CAA's on-demand format gives you, the member, the ability to take education classes where you want and when you want. Launching an on-demand class is simple. For the purposes of this video, let's assume you've already found the class you desired and purchased it through our website. I'll first need to log on to my account. Remember, your username is your email and your password is something you've set previously. Once you've signed in, simply click on the My Account in the main menu and select Classes in the submenu. Here you will see three sections. Classes that you've enrolled in. These are in-person classes and webinars. On-demand classes you've enrolled in. And then Classes Completed. Note that the classes completed are in-person and webinar classes, not the on-demand classes. All on-demand classes fall under the on-demand class enrollment category. To launch the learning management system, simply select a class you wish, you wish to view. In this case, I'm going to click on the Preparing the Property and Professional Leasing Skills. Notice that my browser opens another tab. If you don't see another tab opened, you probably have pop-ups blocked on your browser setting. To fix this problem, simply change your browser settings to allow pop-ups from this site. Once you've set this once, you will never have to worry about it again. Because I clicked on the specific course, Preparing the Property and Professional Leasing, I'm launched directly into that course in our on-demand university. In my example, you'll see the title of the course located at the top, along with the various modules underneath it. Directly under the course name, you'll see a description of the course. And with the modules, you'll notice that there's a status bar here. The first module, Section 1, is completed, noted by the green bar here. Section 2 has not yet been completed, and you'll notice that Sections 3, 4, and the final exam are all locked. That means you cannot move to the next section until you've completed the section prior. Below the section area, you'll see an icon or image of the class itself a green bar that will either say start this course if it's brand new or continue this course if you've already been working on it. You'll also see a notice board here which talks about some other interesting aspects of the course. You'll notice that there's additional reference documents associated with this course which is found right below the notice board. In this case it's the PRM 100 student guide. Consider the guide the textbook to the class. If I click on the guide, it opens an Adobe file in another browser window for me. We strongly recommend that you print off this guide and use it while you're taking your class. It will give you more in-depth information regarding the materials than is covered during, during the audio portion of the, of the class. So, let's go back to launching the course. There's two ways I can launch this course. Of course, clicking the green bar, continue this course, is one way. But I can also click a module that I'm interested in viewing. In this case, I'm going to go to Section 2 of this course. Notice that I've completed Section 1. I can't always click on it again and go back and review that information. When I click on the section, it will open up another window with the actual video content. I'll have to launch the course or launch the video by hitting the play button. But before I do that, I want to take note of a few of the items at the top right. You'll notice there's a feedback button, a next module button, 
and an exit button. The feedback button allows you, the learner, to provide us information about a course. Simply type in the subject and the message you want to say. Anything from, the course is too long, I didn't understand a particular concept, I need more clarification, or even just a thank you for doing such a wonderful job. When you hit send, the information will go back to CAA and our education director will review the information and route it to the appropriate person to provide you feedback. The next module function allows you to advance from one module to the next. Now if the module's locked, it will not allow you to advance. It will tell you the next module is locked. And then there's the exit button. We'll address this more in detail, but the exit button is what allows you to bookmark where you've left off. So first, let's start this course. You'll notice when Knowing it launches, the, the screen opens up. Market rents. In order to and I'm letting you hear some of the rental audio. Housing industry, industry. Owners and agents need to be the experts on their market and immediate sub-market areas. In order to set and achieve maximum rental revenues, each property must be priced according to the location, size, product type, there is no need for you to worry about advancing sub-market. slides. They will advance on their own. Most of these courses are timed, and there is a time limitation on each slide. Market surveys the minimum amount of time a slide will be open is 40 seconds, but the maximum will run the length of the, the audio portion. The information these surveys will assist in making decisions about rents, Amenities, You'll notice at the bottom, the to as the slide the future, progresses, as the as time well progresses, the you can process. see how far along you are in this course. When I'm done Top with the course, or I'm done viewing for the day, all I need to do the is pause the course by clicking on the slide, or and or click the exit button. When I click the exit button, I'm brought back to the main course here. And of course, I can then just exit this course. In addition, there's, there's this home function, course library, and achievements area. The home function will take you to all the courses that are in your university. So these will be all the courses you have purchased. You'll be able to go to ho your home function click on any other course and continue taking it. If you have any other questions regarding our courses, please feel free to visit our website at caanet.org. Thank you again for your time and we hope you enjoy our online learning.